So let's run you through some of the specs of this car. So, got a few bits of information here. This is the Lusso TI with its 2 litre, 200 horsepower, 4 cylinder turbo engine. You don't need any more than that. Inside, you've got everything you would expect. There's additional soundproofing to make this a really comfortable place to be. You've got brushed aluminium everywhere. You've got the convenience pack with its passive entry, keyless go. Courtesy lights on the door handles. Uh, there's really nice wheel arches and side skirts. There's the lowered rear bumpers. There's leather dashboard, upper panels, leather steering wheel, silver wood across the sides as we've said. You've got memory for your seats. There's ambient lighting in there. There's a 10 speaker and subwoofer stereo. You've got wireless charging. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really comfortable place to be. If you want to look at safety aspects of this car, there is plenty of tech involved as well with Alpha's Autonomous Driving Level 2 Driver Assistance Pack. That gives you traffic jam and highway assist. You've got traffic sign recognition. You've got speed limit recognition, lane keeping assist. Uh, there's hill descent control, full collision warning, blind spot assist. <sighs> active cruise control, automatic high beam, parking assist. You don't need anything else. Alpha have thought of everything that you're gonna need in your SUV. Let's be honest, an SUV, as a young 20 something, you're not necessarily going to want one, but when you get to my age, 26 plus, then you want a bit of comfort. These seats are beautiful to sit in. They're heated, you've got a heated steering wheel. Convenience, convenience with style, with power, with that Alfa Romeo feeling to it. There's just something about an Alfa, isn't there, that that's for those of us that still want to drive, still want to enjoy our car, still want to think, yes, there's an Alfa Romeo on my driveway. And that's exactly what this car does for you. You look at it, you want it. It is beautiful, beautiful exterior, as we've said, beautiful interior, so far removed from alphas of the past. You can just laugh at people. It is stunning. But have alpha diluted the beauty of driving, the beauty of their technology and engineering, and compromised when they've covered it in an SUV body. And there's only one way to find out. So let's go and have a drive. So snick the eight speed automatic gearbox into first and off we go. So Alfa Romeo make a big play of their DNA, their dynamic, their neutral, their ecosystem. Obviously driving around town, driving around the lanes is normal, you have it in normal. The car does everything you want. If we're in Alpha's eco mode, it dulls the power, not enough to make it boring, but enough to save you some precious MPG. There's still a bit of poke to it. It's more than enough for in town. It's more than enough for the motorway. It's not gonna set your soul on fire though when you're out in the lanes. Normal, gives you a little bit more poke, a little bit more sporty feel to the steering. And for 99% of the time, it's where you're gonna be living. There's enough there to remind you that you're in something special, but not enough for things to get too hairy on your drive to and from work. But we said earlier, didn't we, you don't buy an Alfa Romeo just to potter around the town. You don't buy it just to potter to the shops and to work and back. 
Alpha have got that just something that little bit more, that little bit more special. And it's for the drivers after all. And with this model having the Q4 all wheel drive system which intelligently shifts the power around to keep maximum grip, you might as well utilize that and stick it in dynamic. Simple turn of the dish, dials go red and then the fun starts. You can either use your flappy paddle, stick it into manual or just keep it in automatic and let the car do the thinking for you. There's even a third option, leave it in automatic but when you want to have a play use the paddles as well and then when you've finished it just goes back into normal drive. It really is a very special system. So here we are, we're in dynamic, we're in a little bit of traffic out in the lanes. It's a one second job to put it back to normal or put it into eco. Quick turn of the dial, that's all it needs. Back into normal, just whilst we're following. And whilst we're following this car, it gives a good opportunity to explain away some of the work done on the infotainment system. It is touchscreen, you can do what you want through there, however, It is touch screen, but you've also got this fantastic kind of joy control down at the bottom here, and that allows you to cycle through what you need. You can move the different widgets into whatever order you want, so you can see the information that you want. Obviously there's DAB, there's Bluetooth music streaming, there's everything you would expect. And let's be honest, you can read the manual to see what that includes. So here we go. Road's clearing up a little bit. Stick it into dynamic. Drop it down a gear. Maybe one more. And off we go. Can you hear that? It makes a nice noise from the twin tailpipes. It's a four cylinder turbo engine. It's never going to sound like a V6 or a V8, but Alpha have done a good job. They've managed to get some soul coming out of those twin pipes. Drop it down a gear, into the red, up again. Using that grip afforded you from the all-wheel drive, up again. Big, big disc brakes help to keep everything under control. Again, drop it down a gear, into the main beef of the power. And when you need to stop, it's a simple job. Here we go. Up. Up again. Up to 60 before you know it. And that's all you need round here. Drop it down. Keep it in the meat of the power. turning those 20 inch wheels really doing the business there's a lovely weight to the steering feels like there's something there that you're pushing against decent suspension offers you a mix of comfort and stability and control. Up again, listen to that little noise. And I think it's safe to say that under the bonnet and under the arches there's a proper Alfa Romeo engine and there's proper Alfa Romeo suspension keeping everything in check 
back down to normal. And you're in a different car. You're no longer in the Alfa Romeo sports car. You're back into your family SUV. And that really is the special thing that Alfa have done with this car. When you're on your own, when you want to have some fun, you stick it into dynamic and you have some fun. And when you're done with all that and you've got to do the school run, well this Stelvio can do that with just as much aplomb. MPG combined, they say around 30, 35. Realistically, you're gonna be getting 25 to 30, unless you really put your foot down, in which case, you're not. Price-wise, the whole range starts at about 39, moving up to 50 plus. This one, just below the top level, starts at 46 and a half. By the time you put a few options on there, you're getting closer to 48, 49. But you know what? If you're in the market for an Alfa Romeo, and you're no longer that single person who can do what they want, when they want, and you've got those responsibilities that come with having a family, but you still want to have fun, you can't do much better than an Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant job, Alfa. Well done.